So today we are constructing a translation of a figure using a compass. All right. Now, before we actually do the construction, though, let's talk about translations in general. A translation is basically when you take a figure and we slide it over. All right. So here's the figure we have, triangle ABC. And this arrow right here, this is a vector. And the vector tells you the distance that we're going to slide it, because that's the length of the arrow, and the direction that we're going to slide the figure. So the direction of this arrow is how far we're going to slide, or what direction we're going to slide the figure. All right, so it might be helpful to have this little transparency here. So here's my vector. So our, our strategy here is we're going to take this vector and put it on the end of each vertex of that triangle and that'll tell us where that new point's going to be so b's going to b is going to slide over here for b prime here's where a prime is going to end up right there and we slide this here c prime is going to end up way down here all right now to construct this we basically have to move this arrow this vector right here all right so how are we going to do that well, let's talk about that. First things first, I have my compass here and I have it set to the length of the vector. There it is. So I know every single point is gonna slide this far. So off of each vertex, here's B. I know B prime is gonna end up somewhere along this arc. Same with A. A prime is gonna end up somewhere along that arc. And then here's C. So C prime is going to end up somewhere along that arc. All right. So again, we need to slide each point there. Now the question becomes, where exactly will B prime be along this arc? It's somewhere here. Now, in order to figure out exactly where B prime ends up on this arc, you have to imagine that we took this vector and we duplicated it here. Notice the vectors are going to be parallel because they're in the same direction. So what we basically need to do is construct a parallelogram here, okay? And so if we take the distance from the end of the vector to B, that will be the same distance as the other end of the vector to B prime. So that's gonna be my next step to find where B prime is, all right? So I'm gonna take my compass, I'm gonna have that setting to the end of the vector and point B. So here's the end of the vector. Point B is right there. So I got my setting. There it is right there. And I'm gonna take that exact same setting to the end of the vector and swing an arc. And where those two arcs intersect is my B prime. And that's where B is gonna slide to. So again, we took that vector, we slid it over here, and now we know where B prime ends up right there. Okay? And we'll just do that exact same thing with the other points. All right? Here's the dis dis distance from the end of the vector to point A. A little more, right there. So I'm going to go to the other end of the vector and swing an arc. And now I know where A prime is going to be. It's going to be right here. All right. And then similarly, the end of the vector to point C. Right there. And then I'm going to repeat that distance to at the other end of my vector. And that's my C prime. There we go. And when I connect up all those points, I should have my triangle slid over. And there it is. All right. So basically, all I did was take each point and just slid them over based on that vector. OK? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math. 
and I will see you next time.